Underneath this popular theater in Tel Aviv, the finishing touches have been put to a new gathering place that, it is hoped, will never need people to gather in it. This is Israel's most advanced public underground bomb shelter, a fortified structure four stories below ground with room for 2,000 people, and it's part of Tel Aviv's elaborate civil defense program. City officials have been beefing up bomb shelters and emergency services in recent months as tensions rise with Iran and militant groups in the Gaza Strip like Hamas. But despite ongoing work, some politicians do not believe the country is ready to deal with current bomb threats. My committee came to the conclusion that we are not ready enough and that's why we call upon the government uh, to speed the preparation, to do what they have to do. They've got responsibility for 8 million people living in Israel and uh, the sooner we're going to do it, the better it is. And the second point is that uh, the army should have the knowledge that the home front is ready. As Israel seeks to protect its citizens, efforts have focused on fortifying crucial services like medical centers. This emergency hospital shelter, fully equipped with oxygen tanks, electricity and water, can run for seven days. Even so, hospital officials are worried. The true problem is, first of all, how do you operate uh, a facility, a protected facility for only half of the patient of the hospital and half of the staff? Who is going to stay above? unprotected and who is going to be moved underground to be protected. And then comes the real issue of how do you manage in time of war when there may be panic and war is of patients what's going outside and families what's going inside. Top military officials believe some 200,000 rockets and missiles are currently aimed at the Jewish state, with Tel Aviv likely to be an attractive target. This is part of our daily lives. The Tel Aviv municipality puts every effort, time and money and plenty of working hours in order to ensure that we'll be ready in time of need, and I think we are ready.